Hi everyone, Morgan here and welcome to a new series, Rogue Preparedness Prepper Book Club. So uh, I have people asking me about books all the time and I love sharing books and I have so many books. And you know, I'm really picky about the books that I have like, um, you know, I, I really like beginner books, but I like that more advanced, you know, skills books as well. These are the books that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about herbal, natural medicines, things like that. So, um, you know, natural first aid and things like that. So the first book here is the natural first aid handbook. Oh, and don't forget that all the links to all these books are going to be down below in the description. Excuse me. Okay. First one, the natural first aid handbook. Great book. It has things like, uh, you know, for an ear injury, what are you going to do? So for this at home, first aid burns, essential oils after cooling the burn, either lavender or tea tree oil can be applied undiluted to the burned area, aloe, um, tea bags, St. John's warts, and then quick um, kitchen remedies would be spread raw honey on it or yogurt, things like that. So this is a great book, lots of alternative um, household remedies, herbal remedies, that kind of thing. Okay, so this one is making your own skincare products. So it is very natural, but it's making your own skincare products like um, face scrubs, you know, body, hair. I mean, literally this covers everything, even soap. And this is by Jan Berry. This is by the same person that I um, recommend my soap making book from. She's amazing. I just love her website. I get her emails all the time. And yeah, uh, this book is great. This is natural skincare at home, kind of like the Jan Berry book. This just has like a couple little extra things in it. You know, maybe a couple of the same things, but like, you know, um, toners. This talks about like ingredients, um, how to make herbal tinctures, you know, how to make a tincture, how to make extracts, um, and then hair, face, eyes, ears, lips, armpits, heads. So like it even has like some makeup. It has stuff for beards. It's got all kinds of things. Some things that maybe aren't there or just are different. So uh, I really like having this one as well. The Portable Essential Oils. I really love this book. This is a pocket guide. I have read up a lot about essential oils. I do not consume essential oils. The only thing I do with, with essential oils is for external use. You know, I put them in salves, things like that, my soaps. Um, I do not um, take, you know, I do not ingest them. Tinctures are for ingesting. Some people say they do ingest essential oils. That's just I've read that you just really shouldn't do that. So this talks about like a lot of external uses for essential oils and like, you know, nosebleed, uh, some cold water and cypress essential oil. So whether you believe in essential oils or not, I've always wanted to get a distiller or make a distiller so that I can make my own essential oils. So um, I just think that um, essential oils do work. We have to understand that there might be limitations to them, um, but I, I do believe in essential oils and I think they're great. This is Master Rep Recipes from the Herbal Apothecary. This has tincture, salves, teas, capsules, even how to make your own capsules, which I think is something that I haven't seen in a lot of books. You know, how to make like your own, um, just, you know, medicinal capsules. Um, you know, so like this one, anti-diarrhea, you know, two teaspoons of the orange grape root, calendula flower, slippery elm bark. You will notice a lot of things in here that you're like, wow, I've never heard of this or wow, I have no idea, you know, where to even acquire this stuff. It has like a whole list of, of stuff in the front and back, you know, and um, you can just slowly acquire this stuff. Like I've slowly started acquiring such oils and different types of herbs and growing herbs and things like that, you know, so um, it start, you gotta start somewhere. This is um, Rodale's Encyclopedia of Natural Home Remedies. This is amazing. This book is super thick. It has everything. Okay, if you have a problem, let's see. Dogs problems, skin problems. And then it talks about it. Like it doesn't just give you remedies and stuff. Like it actually talks about this stuff. So like flea and tick. Um, it, is, it is very, like I you know, it is very worry. You know, like there's a lot of quotes and a lot of talking and stuff like that, but I still think that it's a really valuable um, book, you know, cold exposure, um, you know, frostbite, it, I mean, it just, all home remedies. Okay, I love it. This is another Rodale's Encyclopedia, oh, Illustrated Encyclopedia of Herbs. If you want to know about herbs, 
this is a great guide. It even talks about growing herbs, um, winterizing the herbs. Um, it doesn't just say, you know, like, like how to use them for uh, like your face or anything else, but you know, it tells you how to craft making um, plants and bouquets and baskets and um, you know, drying herbs, you making herb wreaths. I mean, it covers everything herb related. So it's a very unique book. Definitely get this. And you will find with both of these Rodales that um, you will have to find them used. I got these both used for like a few dollars. But if you go to like on, on Amazon, which I've linked to Amazon, but I want you to go find it used somewhere. Um, you know, they're selling it for like $70 or ridiculous prices. I've seen them for those ridiculous prices. I don't know if they're there right now, but they have been ridiculous prices. So get them used. Okay. This is the alchemy of herbs. I recently acquired this book and I knew that when I got it, I had to have it. This talks about, um, teas and cooking with it, like fried sage leaves. Ooh, it sounds so good. You just fry sage leaves and coconut oil and eat them up. And it goes specifically like per herb. So mint, rosemary, parsley, what can you do with these things? Um, and it, it gives a lot of suggestions. I love this book. It says transform everyday ingredients into foods and remedies that heal. So it's not just like, you know, using them for salves or something, but like, how do you eat these herbs? You know, how, you know, might you eat them? Love this book. Oh, all right. This big beast here is, <laughs> it is called the prescription for nutritional healing. I would get the most up to date, um, edition that you can get. I believe um, this is the fifth edition, which I believe is the most up-to-date edition, but I did get it used. But this has pretty much everything you'd ever want about anything ever in life, right? So you go back here um, and you just look like anemia. Oh, so big. I can't, I can't hold it like that. Where'd it go? You can look for, okay, let's say anemia 201. So anemia, and it talks about it, and then it says, um, so nutrients that you need, iron, um, you know, uh, black strap molasses, it says take one tablespoon daily, uh, folic acid, vitamin B and D, um, so, you know, raw spleen, um, brewer's yeast, it talks about all these things that are recommended, and then it talks about herbs, um, recommendations for just general, you know, how to care for you and your anemia considerations, you know, do not smoke, minimize your exposure to lead, uh, do not take calcium, vitamin E, zinc, or antacids at the same time as iron supplements. And these can, these can interfere with iron absorption, like so much valuable information. I think this is the last one. <laughs> okay. The Herbal Medicine Maker's Handbook. So I'm all about herbs. You've seen a lot of books about herbs and essential oils and making things, you know, natural, all these things. And I think that, you know, being a gardener, growing your own herbs and knowing what the herbs do, how to use the herbs, how would you use them in daily application is very important. Um, like this, it says an elegant rose cream. A cream is made the exact same fashion as a lotion. Um, so this says beeswax, rose water, rose essential oil, almond oil, very simple things here. Uh, how to make a salve, um, starting with dried herbs, fixed oil and beeswax, tinctures. It talks all about tinctures. It talks about storing and preservation of these things. Uh, distillation. It talks about, uh, Oh my gosh, uh, cold infusion, hot infusion uh, of teas. And it just, it, it gives detailed instructions about everything. I love all of these books. I have them all for a reason. I haven't gotten rid of them. In fact, these have all carried with me even through the RV and all the moves. These books are important to me. And, um, you know, I, I think that learning the alternative methods of home remedies and herbs and, you know, acquiring the ingredients. Now that's another thing. Like if you want to do some of this stuff, you may have to acquire some things like the essential oils and either acquiring the herb seeds or acquiring the dried herbs. And then you, um, you know, acquire beeswax and the glycerin and other things that you typically make for these ingredients. And you do it slowly over time. Like 
I'm building my basically apothecary and I'm, you know, building the herbs. You know, I get one new herb a month and it's oh, I'm about to pull up my glasses. <laughs> I get one new bag of uh, one or two pound bag of herbs a month. Um, and it's, you know, about 15, 20 bucks for that one or two pound, you know, whatever herb I'm buying, you know, 20 bucks a month for one thing of herbs. And those herbs will last pretty much forever. And they're come in mylar bags. So yeah, if you ever want to, you know, put them in another mylar bag with oxygen absorbers, you can do that too. But yeah. Uh, anyway, start slowly acquiring these ingredients and things to start making your own home remedies and learning these things. And, you know, reach for these books when you're like, oh man, I have a mosquito bite and it itches instead of getting, you know, Neosporin, maybe you can make your own salve or, you know, make like a baking soda paste or stuff like that. So natural remedies. I will be doing more videos about uh, tinctures and um, if I ever make my own essential oils, I'll definitely be doing a video about that. Um, and yeah, a bunch of other natural stuff. So I would really like to hear your opinions about your other favorite herbal and, and um, natural remedies and natural medicine guides or tips down below in the comment section. And remember, all these books are linked down below in the description. I am linking directly to Amazon, but I do encourage you to look for some of these really older ones in um, for used copies. They will be much cheaper. So thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you later. Bye. Later. Bye.